What is up my friends and family? Check it out, we're doing another full day of vegan bodybuilding, bulking full day of eating. Yes, we're getting ready for the YouTube house that's happening this weekend, so I'm actually head down to the shop right now, but I have my shake here, and I'm gonna let you guys know all the ingredients in the shake, because we go over the shake all the time. I'm gonna let you guys know it'll be all in the description and on screen right now. I've got some awesome stuff planned for you guys today. We're gonna go check out that vegan restaurant. I'm gonna see Star Wars, give you guys my honest review right afterwards, and also right now we're going down to the shop to get my car, my baby, all ready for the trip. So I'll see you guys down at the shop. Got a bound. We qualify as the Beyond Wheat Pit Crew? Yes, <laughs> definitely. I am John Galt. <laughs> the car is getting scoped and, and probed and prodded and touched. And touched. <laughs> and LP Intimately. has his glass set up here. So he's going to blow some beads, show us some glass work. I'm going to make some beads. I'm not going to blow anything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. People always want to know what do you think about the YouTube, the YouTube channel and everything like that. Me doing YouTube videos. Oh, um, I think it's great. I think it's uh, better than working on cars. <laughs> you used to always tell me that when, when I was a kid. You used to always tell me, "Don't ever get into the same business as me." Yes. You want to do something that's fun. I mean, mm -hmm. Fixing cars used to be fun, but uh, things are too complicated. It's like working on space shuttles. Some of them have names like space shuttles, like the Murano. Murano. <laughs> You gotta be a moron to get a moron. <laughs> Shoot the juice, Bruce. You know, I'm gonna call it food time. Good. Oh, I'm excited. I wanna see it, boy. Let me see. Damn, that's a whole different color. Hold on. Let me I get, know. Let me get in close. Let me get in close. I know. Ooh. There's, there is purple in there, but it hasn't cooled off yes. yet. And then it's gonna make... come off of this, and then it'll be a little bead with a little hole in it. There's LPs. Mystery unicorn skill of the day. Franny, tell me, what, what is this on the uh, calendar here? I want to know what, what kind of airplane this is. It's a P-47 Thunderbolt. Tell me World some War II. awesome facts about it. You know everything it about planes. It was like uh, like the biggest fighter ever made in World War II. It had massive four, eight total 50 caliber machine guns in it. Freaking hell. And it would rip anything up. And on top of that, because it was so big and tough, it could take a lot of punishment, a lot of bullets, and bring back the guy home safer. All right, my friends, so check it out. My dad's making the turkey burger he usually has with the, uh, like this flax bread that we were talking about. But the cool thing is, we were talking, right? And you were considering possibly going vegan? Yes. And, and when are you considering doing this? Um, as soon as we talk and you convinced me to do it. How cool is that? My pops is the last person who would ever consider this maybe a couple years ago. Just like me, I was the last person who would ever consider eating vegan instead of meat. And now he's considering it. And when you eat something that has as little a taste as that has, vegan stuff has to taste more than that. True, right? I'd rather eat a tofurkey sausage. Those things are really good. Have a good time at the YouTube house. Ooh, I'll see you later. Back of the house, starting with some extra virgin olive oil. Yes, I know my friends, I need to switch over to the canola oil, but for now we're gonna use olive oil. And then I'm feeling like my cheat meal, that, that fries, guacamole, and beans. So what I'm gonna do is actually a little of these Southern style O'Brien potatoes, a little chunk diced potatoes. I'm gonna fry them up real quick and then we're gonna throw on some toppings. Okay, so the potatoes are sauteed. Now I'm gonna make a little bit of the soy riso to make it a little bit more authentic. Yes, you heard me right. It is meatless soy chorizo. Two inch piece gives me 90 calories, 4.5 grams of fat, seven grams of protein, and six grams of carbs. Also gonna take about two servings, a big dollop of these Rosarita vegetarian refried beans. These are made with canola oil, not with lard. Boom, and the chorizo, the refried beans, the potatoes are plated. It does not look very appetizing, but suck it. It's completely okay because guacamole saves everything. And then the final touch I want to put on here is just a little bit of salsa, baby. And this is pretty much carne asada fries without carne asada. Oh, and check out that pro tip. Throw on some spinach leaves at the end of any dish you make and everyone will think you're extremely healthy. Okay, so I just spent a little bit of time uh, answering you guys' comments on the Hercules episode. So thank you guys so much for the support. You guys are always saying like really cool stuff. Sometimes I'll put a video up and I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna get any good reception. I don't know if this is a good video. And then you guys come in with like, so much love and it's super cool. Okay, so I'm going down to the mall right now to pick up some stuff for the YouTube house, i.e. my blanket has a giant, giant manhole in it from like 
tossing and turning and then like kind of getting my foot stuck in the hole and then kind of just like not really caring and then hearing it rip and just like whatever I'm just I need to sleep so I need to get a new blanket I need to get some like um, some toothbrushy stuff like all sorts of those kind of things so we are going shopping but I am eating a bagel right now it is 300 calorie bagel with diet cream cheese so that's quote unquote cheese it's not really cheese and so this is like a 380 calorie 400 calorie bagel let us go to the mall. First stop, Walmart. The first place to go whenever you need anything that's general. So here are the color of blankets that we got, comforters. And I'm just deciding what color would be the dopest. I'm gonna assume black is not a good idea because I eat in bed sometimes and I might keep crumbs or whatnot in there. Gray is pretty good, you probably won't, you probably won't. Yeah, yeah, there's the blanket I want, that one. There's blue and red, I like blue and red. I think those are two cool colors. This is kind of a funky color, I don't think it would match anything. I'm just trying to pretend like I'm really actually caring a lot about what comforter I get. I think I am gonna go with the gray though. What color would you guys go with? Check it out guys. There's gonna be a pho place opening at my mall. I'm probably the most excited person about this. Hopefully it's good food though. Check out my ride guides. This is how I actually got here. So we're actually about to take the main car. Yeah, there it is. There's the main cab. We're about to take this cab back up the hill. So yeah, we're just gonna hop on in here real quick. <laughs> Get out and in here. And now my friends, we go into my second home, the 99 cent store. <laughs> some floss. It's got over 1.5 times more free. Some toothpaste. What else? A toothbrush. Some body wash, ocean mist flavor. Some deodorant. Some ibuprofen for my shoulders so we can keep the anti-inflammatory going. Some Ziploc bags, because I know somebody's gonna have leftovers and then they're just gonna throw them in the fridge without Ziplocking them, so I'm bringing them for the people. We're gonna hook Chelsea up with a little gummy candy because now she is a sucker for candy. Ugh. These things are kick ass. These dry roasted edamame beans have tons of protein, so I'm just gonna buy like a couple of these for the house. I'm gonna actually get four of these. Ugh. Uh, a little bit of some snack food. Oh yeah, baby. And because of course we're having the YouTube fitness come to California, I gotta bring the white monsters for everybody. <laughs> Two hours later. All right, my friends, we are at North Park. If you're ever in San Diego, that's where we are at North Park. Shut up, I'm talking. We are about to get the food that's called Sips with a Z, S-I-P-Z, and it's a, like, everything. It's like vegan sushi, vegan noodles, vegan burgers and sandwiches, everything. So let's jump in there, and I'll show you what we got. I'm super excited. All right, so we just got our entrees. I got the general sow chicken and rice and peppers and spiciness, and it is phenomenal. It is so freaking tasty. So good. It's like orange chicken and it's also like tofu mix. Um, and then the other plate was, uh, it was like crispy chow mein with like vegetables all over, bok choy and broccoli and carrots and rice. This place is definitely a comeback to. Like this is such a good restaurant. And then finally, I wanted to get dessert. I just want to see what the dessert is like. And cheesecake is my favorite dessert. And since I can't have cheesecake and I haven't been able to have it for like years, literally years, I'm excited to see how this tastes. This is what it looks like. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm gonna take a, a first bite real quick. That is so good though. This is really good. I'm coming back like in a couple days. Show starts in eight minutes. The time is nigh, my friends. Star Wars is near. Can you feel the force? I'll see you guys right after the freaking movie to tell you guys what I thought about it. Two hours later. Holy S. That was pretty freaking good. Okay, so I think there was not enough Jedi action. There was definitely not enough force. There wasn't enough lightsabers. It was definitely like a very soldier movie. But it was freaking awesome. I think Disney having the money to and the budget to do it and like, you know, now being made in 2015, 14, 13, whenever they were making it, they're actually able to do like CGI and they have like way cooler aliens because before it had to be like a dude in an alien suit, right? Now they have like these big monster beast ass aliens and stuff. I thought that was freaking awesome. I don't want to spoil anything, even though most of you have probably seen it before I seen it. There's some sad parts in there. Some cute parts in there, some parts that'll make you cry, some parts that'll make you angry. I thought it was dope. Alright, let's go get some more food. Okay, my friends, so while the mandia, the bean dia, is cooking, I'm gonna show you guys a very simple little 
mass canner for vegans, although I'm gonna make another video of this to make it a little bit more complete. But I've got my almond milk here, I've got brown rice protein or pea protein or soy protein, whatever protein type you want for my protein, and also instant oats. So you're gonna pour in about probably like two cups, maybe a cup and a half, two cups of almond milk. Add the scoop of my protein brown rice protein. Then you're gonna add a scoop of these instant oats as well. And yes, I know it sounds weird that it's instant oats, but it's like powderized oats and it adds a ton of calories and ton of flavor. And then just gonna slide a little bit of PB2 in here for the extra protein and for the flavoring as well. And we're gonna give it a nice shake. Perfect. The Brazilian calories, plus it actually tastes good. Fuck. So there it is, my friends. The dinner of champions. Got myself a full mandia slash bean dia. Got myself, of course, of course, got myself the chocolate mint builder's bar. Of course, it is vegan and it is delicious. And I've also got my little vegan mask in it that I was telling you guys about. And this is gonna round it up for me tonight. It is super late. I got a big day ahead of me tomorrow. You guys always wonder why I don't do a lot of like work on my Wednesday videos. I wanna vlog for you guys. I wanna take you guys on adventures and stuff. So I don't wanna be sitting there editing because that's something that I do a lot. I do a lot of editing. I do a lot of emails and stuff. But it's hard to show you guys that stuff in a video, right? Anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for coming in here, watching these videos, showing support, showing love in the comments. Like it means so much more than you ever could know. You guys have single-handedly blown my channel up in the last six months to supported me into getting near a hundred thousand and now the YouTube house is coming up and there's just so much exciting stuff I can't wait to bring you guys next week's full day of vegan eating video while I'm at the YouTube house so keep tuned for that it's gonna be super exciting if you liked the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends leave a comment let me know what you guys thought below and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel team beyond the week what is it oh it is CT lift heavy or die Myron motherfucker